The Epic Clash, Zeus versus Odin, a tale of divine rivalry. Once upon a time, the mightiest gods of the world, Zeus and Odin, ruled over their kingdoms in the sky and the underworld. Zeus, known as the leader of the Greek gods, reigned with splendour atop Mount Olympus. Odin, on the other hand, was a king in the icy peaks of Asgard, renowned for his wisdom and watchfulness over enemies. One day the long-standing peace between the two kingdoms was shattered. A prideful and power-driven conflict among the gods engulfed the world in fire and ice. Zeus assembled an army on the peaks of Mount Olympus, filled with thunder and lightning. Odin fortified Asgard's walls with his icy soldiers, ready to defend against any threat. As the battle commenced, the sky darkened with ominous clouds and lightning began to strike. A clash between the heights of Mount Olympus and the peaks of Asgard ensued, a divine conflict of titans. Zeus's lightning clashed with Odin's ice. Thunderous roars and terrifying cries shook the earth. Zeus attempted to melt Odin's ice with the thunderbolts of Mount Olympus, but Odin's wisdom and strategy shielded him. To alter the course of the battle, Odin summoned the cold winds of the north. These winds began to extinguish Zeus's fire and weaken his army. Days passed, and the war raged on. The powers of the gods clashed, illuminating the skies with lightning and covering the underworld in ice. Yet neither Zeus's lightning nor Odin's ice could claim victory. The conflict between the two kingdoms reached a stalemate. In the end, Zeus and Odin realised the futility of their battle. Anger and pride gave way to understanding. They came together and made peace to end the senseless conflict. A treaty was signed between the peaks of Mount Olympus and the ice of Asgard. The war among the gods came to an end, and the world slept peacefully once more. From that day forward, Zeus and Odin, respecting each other's kingdoms and working together, maintained the peace and balance of the world. The thunder and lightning no longer symbolised war, but rather the power of nature itself.